wanted to do this video because the ride's coming up, right? And I had some people asking me how to how to ride for three to four hours. Um, they had no idea how. They actually had a customer come in and ask me, how am I doing these five hour rides? That, that seems impossible to them. Uh, when I asked them what they were doing for food on the bike, you made this ball gross, dude. Um, they looked at me funny and said water. So I had to do at least this quick one before the ride. Come on, Huck. Good boy, good boy. So I had to do this quick video before the ride. Um, you need to be eating. Uh, one of the best things you can eat is a banana. It is pre-packaged for you. But I needed to do something. Uh, so this, I'm not a nutritionist. I know what works for me. I'm gonna take you to the bike shop, hopefully, and I'll show you some of the good stuff that I eat. Huck, stop eating. Stop eating that. But anyway, I really just wanted to do a quick video before the ride. Um, Robin's ride's coming up. We have got a lot of pre-registers, so if you haven't registered already, I'll leave a link. Uh, but make sure you show up. It is going to be a really good day. What is that? Huh. What? What is that? All right, so now we're gonna talk about the nutrition that your local bike shop has to offer. We got some other options over there that I'm gonna talk about as well. Um, so you can start with stuff like a banana. Like I said, great, great way to get some energy and a nice little package. Um, but then you've got the stuff that is specific to the sport. Now, you always wanna start with the solids. So, shot blocks. I love these things. I love how they taste. I would eat them for dessert if, if that was socially acceptable. So there's two servings in here, uh, so there's about 200 calories in one of these things. If I'm doing a three hour ride, I'll usually crack one of these open before the ride, um, have it pre-open because even though it's got perforations, um, I have had trouble getting them open in the past. But I'll usually, around 45 minutes into the ride, I'll take a couple of these out, pop them in my mouth, uh, eat them, of course. The best flavor for this, Cran Raspberry, hands down is the best flavor. So moving on, they do have a couple other ones. Uh, citrus is not a bad flavor, but I'm not a big citrusy kind of guy. Margarita tastes like citrus with a lot of salt. If you like salty things, you'll love the margarita flavor. It's not bad. Shot blocks are my favorite solid food. You wanna eat the solids first because it's, it's, it takes it a little bit longer for it to uh, digest than something like a goo because it is a solid. So over time, it sustains you a little bit better than something like a goo, which we'll get to in a minute. So another solid option that is uh, pretty tasty, if I do say so myself, are waffles. Um, Honey Stinger makes some good waffles. I do prefer the untapped stuff. Untapped has got some delicious stuff. Everything from them is organic. These things are delicious. Um, this is the coffee waffle, my personal favorite. Um, their regular waffles, pretty dang delicious as well. You do have Honey Stinger Energy Chews. They're very similar to the, the shop blocks. So these are kind of just like a bag of gummy bears that you'd rip open and just eat. All right, let's move on a little bit from this solid section that we have over here. Move on to the goos. That is the one that everyone knows is goo. A goo. They want the goo. And uh, hammer gel. Hammer gel is pretty decent as well. I think it's more of a personal preference thing though between the two. They all taste the same. Vanilla is a safe bet. If you've never had any of this stuff, get vanilla. Vanilla always tastes like vanilla. My personal favorite in the goo is jet blackberry that is delicious so one of my new favorites is the untapped syrup now this has many many ingredients it's got maple syrup and that's it this is 100 percent pure maple syrup well this one has a little bit of coffee in it um, but the the regular one is just 100 percent pure maple syrup this is straight sugar uh, so if you need quick energy one of these does just as good as a goo Okay, so I found some more goodies. I just brought them over here is a little bit easier. Um, one of the newer brands that we have gotten that is amazing is Beeline. Beeline is local um, to Charlotte, I think. Yes, Beeline is local to Charlotte. Um, 
they've been getting more and more popular uh, nationally. Uh, that's my perception anyway. But they have very little ingredients. Um, I think they ran into some problems because of the, the all natural four ingredients that they have in it. We've had a couple of these guys expand a little bit on us. Um, but they're still, I, in my opinion, Beeline is the best. Uh, some people don't like the packaging because this is a twist top. I personally love it. So another kind of goo is this SIS stuff, super popular. Um, they boast that it's isotonic, which is pretty much a fancy word by saying it's very liquidy. But with that being said, the one thing I don't like about SIS, I don't know if it's got fake sugar in it, but it leaves a very uh, Splenda-y aftertaste. If you don't like that, these aren't going to be for you. I like the consistency. They're very easy to get down, easier than a goo. You don't have to pound water afterwards, but I don't like the flavoring. And then you have what you would put in your drink. Um, I usually take one bottle with me. Depends on how long the ride is. If I'm doing like a four hour ride, I'll still take one decent sized bottle of a sports mix. Um, you can do something like Noon. The best that I have found for me is something like Osmo or Scratch. It's essentially the same stuff. Uh, if you look at the ingredients, it's just different serving sizes. Scratch and Osmo work great. Uh, one thing that I like about Osmo and Scratch, they're all about trying to do as little calories as possible because you should be getting that from your food, not your drink. Um, all you should be getting out of your drink is hydration, which is key to something like cycling. But the main thing that I like to tell people, try them. Don't just listen to me. Don't go watch a ton of videos think that you have it figured out because every body's body is different. It reacts differently to different things. I've got people, Beeline is my favorite. To me, it works just as well as goo, but. So Beeline is my favorite and it works just as good as goo or untapped in my opinion, but the flavor is much, much better. And I like their packaging. That's just my personal preference. I've got people that eat Beeline and they have to crap like 30 minutes later. It's just, it just messes with their stomach. So what I tell people, buy one brand and try it on your next ride. Don't, don't buy a bunch of goos and untaps and beeline and try them all on one ride because then you're not gonna know what works and what doesn't work for you. Stick with one brand, try it, try the flavors. If it works great for you, great. Next time you go ride, try a different brand, try some different flavors till you find something that works for you. That is the biggest takeaway with cycling nutrition. Anyway guys, I, I just want to do a quick video on nutrition because of some people asking about it and I do try to put myself in the shoes of a beginner again. Anyway guys, Robin's ride's coming up. Let's move on.